To the highlights of the fourth ODI between Pakistan and Australia for Head and Shoulders presents JS Bank Cup 2019. Let's have a look at the pitch here in Dubai. It's brown. It doesn't have any grass. It looks dead. What happened at the toss? Pakistan called correctly and decided to bowl first. Right, let's have a look at the teams as well. Pakistan making a couple of changes. Abid Ali and Saad Ali given caps, making their ODI debuts. And for Australia, Nathan Colton-Nile was back, as was Kane Richardson. Right, let's join the action from the commentary position. It's Brendan Julian and Wakar Yunus. Usman Khawaja at the top of the order opening. The batting for Australia has been in scintillating form in one-day international cricket and also here in the UAE as well. And his partner at the other end, Aaron Finch, has been in great form. Scored 359 runs in this series, Aaron Finch, the only Australian captain to score more runs in a bilateral one-day series. Picture-perfect conditions here. No suggestion of rain in this game. There was a little bit in game three, but today it is perfect. Temperatures in, in the high 20s, and we are set to go. Shinwari over the wicket. And straight away, Aaron Finch off the mark for Australia. And they'll come back for a comfortable two. Waka Yunus is alongside me. More runs, and that'll be four. The first boundary of the day through Aaron Finch. Yeah, over trying Shinwari, looking for some extra pace. That's gone up and six. Magnificent strike. What a good shot that is. Produced a beauty. That's a reverse sweep for four. 50 partnership comes up for Australia. Well played by Usman Khaja. <laughs> Missing the stumps down the lakeside. Not really. Hasnan picks up his first ODI wicket. And Finch just getting caught on the crease a little bit and... Uh... I think that's going on to hit leg stump. Uh, he's not happy. You can see the wince on his face. He's made 39, and Australia one for 56. Sean Marsh is in at number three. Has opened the innings for Australia many a time, so not a bad option at number three. And that's a wicket. That is beautifully bowled. And the captain strikes now. And Australia leaves their second. Out of the blue. He just couldn't get there. Rizwan super quick with the gloves. Australia lose their second. Sean Marsh out for 5.65 for two. Peter Hanscom comes to the crease. Australia now 65 for two. Pakistan just tightening the screw a little. Cut. That's into the gap for four. Such a good shot. He played the angle beautifully. Now looking a lot more secure and in good rhythm. Usman Khaja on 44. Cut. That's gone. Beautifully bowled by the left armour. Well, Hanscom was never comfortable at the crease. He was, he was struggling against the spinners. The ball was not coming on to the bat. A little inside edge onto the bat. Good thing what Imar did. He kept that slip in. Third down now. Hanscom gone for seven. 98 for three now. Stoinis is in. Osman Khaja is still hanging in there on 45 from 60 balls. Oh, 
went through the gate. It was the last game when he was looking to slog it out. And this time, a little bit more flight, a googly. Yasser Shah is not known for bowling really good googlies. Once again, Stoinis failing. Got only two. It's 101 for two now. Last time he was in against Pakistan, he killed the game for uh, Pakistan with his blistering innings. He's got 71 in no time. Babar, they're very young. They hardly played. Oh, there you go. What, what happened there? Usnan just missed it. Little irresponsible. Can't afford that, Pakistan. 50 for Khwaja. That's gone all the way for six. Just a, a subtle lifter. Whoa! Catch dropped. He's looking at the stumps, Rizwan, thinking that it was too close to that off stump. This was a missed chance and missed opportunity, I think. Yeah, clearly an edge, a willow sound to it. Oh, close, extremely close. Dharmasena gives it out. Yasser Shah has been very accurate in his ball, a lot better in this contest. Excellent piece of bowling from Yasser Shah, got it absolutely right. I let Brendan Julian now describe this for you. Nilsman Kawaja, 62 from 78, continues his very good form in this one day international series. Australia, 145. The wicketkeeper batsman Alex Carey to the crease. Plenty of overs left for Alex Carey. That's a good shot. That's just a really classic good shot. Even though it's a reverse sweep, but he got in position early, hit it along the ground. Maxwell just pushes it down the ground and an impressive 50 of just 53 balls. Yes, well done, Glenn Maxwell. A very responsible innings from him. Down the ground, Maxwell has had enough and he's deposited this into the stands. What power! There you go, off the back foot and out of the park. What power, what a bad swing from Maxwell. And square leg, can't get there, so good shot from Kerry. Straight it through. That is really well bowled, I love that length. Exactly what they needed. And the dangerous Maxwell goes. Looking at where he landed, they're having another look. And he's got this this habit of uh, stepping over the line it's not a wicket it's a free hit field is set and he takes it long and in the gap and one bounce he moves to 80. It's really well played. Oh, that could be out. Did it knock the bows? No. The reflection off his hands, and then Kerry decided to get through. Then he raises his bat, not only to get in the crease, but for 50 in its first one in his career. Goes for that wide. And should just get two. It's got to hurry, though. Oh, that's close. That's very, very close. He's pretty quick, Glenn Maxwell. Run out camera, please. Yeah, my decision is for the big screen is out. 
Maxwell has got to go on 98. Disappointment, not only for him, but people out there watching. But you've got to take your hat off. Some spectacular and imaginative batting there from Glenn Maxwell. Should be out. He didn't even get it in the middle of the bat, Alex Carey, but nonetheless, a very good innings. Very good last over there from Hasnan. Only five from it. Right on the toe of the bat. But in the end, a very good score for Australia. 277 in their 50 overs. Very important contribution to make sure that Australia have got enough runs on the board. Pakistan will have to bat exceedingly well. Really well. To get over the line against a team that has beaten them hands down in the series. Australia putting up a show with the bat, 277 for the loss of seven. Maxwell played most selfless innings, 98 from just 82 balls. He was run out by Rizwan. Finch and Khwaja laid the platform with good knocks as well. So runs on the board for Australia. Pakistan bowled a lot better, especially in the middle innings. Yasser Shah spun the ball a little, two for 57 of his 10 overs. Imad got a couple of wickets as well, as did Hasnan. Youngster bowl nine overs, two for 52. So that is the target for Pakistan to achieve. 278 runs of 50 overs at 5.56 runs per over. We'll take a short break and come back with a run chase. A lot will rest on the, these opening pair. Shan Masood just starting out, really. Mature player, but... Um, very early on in his career and Abbott uh, making his debut. So a tough ask for uh, Pakistan, but uh, it is doable. He was 38, 92 matches, list A career, and uh, on debut here in One Day Internationals. Ball him. Just not what Shan Masood needed, but this is what Australia needed. A tonic up front with a wicket. Just a little bit off the pitch, I think. Just a little bit of movement off the pitch, inside edge, and if it's not running for you, it goes back onto the stumps. Yeah, gone for not Pakistan, none for one. Harris Swell, 30 years of age, 30 matches, very good numbers, good average. Oh, that's a cracker through mid wicket. Picked up the length early. Really well taken by Glenn Maxwell. Mosahel plays it so well. Gets up, jumps that time perfectly. And that was motoring, so another good piece of cricket from Glenn Maxwell today. So Mosahel gone for 25, Pakistan 74 for 2. Powerful stroke. That is beautifully struck. And this is what the result of sweeping can be. It's been a drop in it fractionally short and he's bounced on it. That's gone up in the air into the gap. That may just run away and hit the fence. Lovely piece of placement from the right-hander. Works it into the gap. It's a hundred. This is magnificent batting. And possibly a new star is born. At 31, making his ODI debut against the run of play. He wasn't supposed to be playing today. Well, he's played and how? That's gone up in the air. This should be out. Aaron Finch is a great fielder. He's a really good pair of hands. And so, wicket falling just at the wrong time. The 100 on debut is a big deal, and that too against Australia. Played on. 
And inside air, Juma Akmal. Well, he likes to play his big shots. But I guess it was a little bit too early in his inning. He just wanted to hit it hard. He wanted to hit it far. He's got to go. Got to disappear. Gone for seven. is 229 for four Pakistan. Oh, for a while. This will be out. Yeah, it's a big wicket. Rizwan is still out there, though. Really dragged the ball on the onside. The ball sort of came in a little bit. And an easy catch by Kane Richardson. Gone for seven. It's 253 for five now, Pakistan. Mohamed Rizwan getting his second hundred. Well played, very well played. Eight fours, one six. Second of the series. Batted superbly, put up a wonderful partnership with Abid Ali. High on the bat, goes out to deep point. And taken, Sean Marsh. And that is a big nail in the coffin in this game. No control over that stroke. And Sean Marsh, easy catch. Imad Wasim gone for one. Problem for Pakistan, 257 for six. That's a good shot, but it's straight to the fielder and taken. He picked him out beautifully. Gee, it was well hit. I reckon that's a lucky wicket for the Australians. The idea was to bowl nice and straight, maybe onto the legs, onto the legs because he had four men on the onside. Hit it too sweetly, straight to the man at the backward square. Batted nicely, but couldn't finish the game. 263 for seven. Oh, that's high in the bat in the deep hand skim and takes another one. Oh, for an instant there, I thought it was going behind square. Another one in the air, hitting the ball, the slower delivery, banged it into short, no pace real, given to the batsman to play with. And Chanwari tried to heave it over that uh, mid-wicket. Hanscom once again coming into the game. That's it. Australia most likely winning this game. That's eight down for 270. Yeah, it's a slow one. Could be. Hans can have another one. No. And it comes back on the bounce. And Australia win game four. It is the first time in one day international history the team has lost chasing a target below 280 despite two centuries. Pakistan were involved in a very, very good run chase. 271 for the loss of eight they ended up with. Abid Ali on debut, hitting a fantastic 100, 112 from 119 balls, and Rizwan getting his second ton of this series. 104 he got from 102 balls in Pakistan. When big shots were needed, they just didn't have the firepower really to seal the deal. Australia held the nerve and bowled superbly in the last part of the innings. Three for Colton Lyle, one for Richardson, two for Stoinis, one for Lyon and Zampa. Glenn Maxwell played beautifully once again, and for his 98, he was awarded Player of the Match Award. Let's have a look at the match summary then. Australia once again playing a perfect hand, really, to win this by a narrow margin of six runs. 277 for the loss of seven they got with the bat, and Pakistan had it covered right up till the end part of uh, the run chairs where they lost the plot and lost wickets and lost rhythm and lost the game as well. 271 for the loss of eight. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the highlights. Till we meet again, it's goodbye from all of us.